How's his game maybe improved to get back to that spot? Well, I thought he played one of his better games in quite a while. As uh, talking about Z, uh, as far as skating with the puck, uh, poise with the puck, uh, he's shown us he's trying to uh, compete better on the puck uh, defensively. Um, yeah, so uh, Murr has played very well. Uh, I can't forget about developing this kid either. So when I see that he is coming along, uh, I want to give him a chance getting back with Jonesy. It doesn't affect uh, Murr's responsibility as far as his play, so we'll see where it goes. Has it been mostly, uh, mostly on the back end, on the defensive end of his game? Or you've seen no, no, I think it's been his whole game. I, I, I think he lacked confidence. Uh, uh, really hasn't shown up as far as roving and, and carrying the puck. Uh, last game, I, I saw him protect pucks behind our net, not just throw it away, hold on to it, and then wheel out of there with his legs. Uh, I thought he did some really good things in a game where I think a number of our D struggled. Um, yeah, so it, we can't forget how young he is. We can't forget the development that we have to go through with him. Uh, uh, yeah, so when he starts showing me something that he's listening and, it, and it's beginning to come, I, I want to put him in situations uh, to see if he can keep growing. Well, we know that that's the important part of it. It's also nice, I would assume, to have that second pair having played together so much, too. That yeah. It's not going to be anything new. For yeah, to. yeah. It, it was a struggle for a number of our D the last game uh, after viewing the tape. And uh, uh, sometimes it's not a bad thing to, uh, to change things around. Uh, uh, yeah, so Murr will play with Nudie, Savvy will go with Harry. Uh, and we're comfortable with those six and uh, as far as moving them around like that. Was it a, a matter of you just wanted to see it, him show you all those things that he showed you in the last game in one game or in a number of games kind of leading up to that? Like, no, we watch him all the time. I right. mean, he's a very important part to this team. Uh, and you, you get, uh, you got to be really careful when, when he's had some success uh, uh, in the first couple of years he's still got to realize how young he is and he starts getting focused on uh, a lot of things happen with players as they keep on growing so uh, we have an we have our eye on him all the time because he's a very important part of not only the team right now but the future of this organization you've been clear to us about York Strand. is it right now is it some of the stuff you just like about your other bottom six that that he's yeah may not be getting in, in yeah I, I just watched Borky now he just filled the net this morning in practice uh, um, I'm sure he's chomping on the bit to get in, but uh, I'm, I'm not looking to take some guys out right now. I think uh, uh, I'm not looking to, uh, to put Oliver in a top six mo uh, mode right now. I think some guys are doing their job there, um, and I don't think he fits in the other part of it there. Our fourth line had some good minutes. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm not going to change the lineup for the sake of changing the lineup. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Are you seeing more of what you want to see out of Duclair recently? <clears throat> at times. Okay. Yeah, at times. Still very inconsistent, but at times, I, I know he's listening. Right. I know he's trying. Uh, we got to keep on teaching. He's like making that effort at least that you're seeing that. Yeah, way. yeah. I don't think it's ever been uh, uh, being a lazy player. I just don't think he knows how to play hard all the time. Um, I don't think he understands why we're telling him to do this. Uh, uh, like I told the coaches the other day, yesterday, I said, you know what, we, we know why we're telling him, but we have to tell him why. I think sometimes we forget that. We forget, we forget to tell players why because we're too busy leaning on them. And, and sometimes they just don't know. I don't think he knows. I really don't. And uh, uh, so we're going to keep on teaching. But he certainly, uh, I, I know he's listening. Didn't have a shot in Pittsburgh. Is he still fighting it a little yep. bit as he was in Toronto? Yeah. What, yeah. what are the issues there, John? Well, I'm not going to dissect him right now, but uh, it's been a struggle for him the past couple of games. He's just going to get to back to a mindset of playing with his instincts. So you may not have an opinion of this at all, but you've got a couple guys in that room who have been through the program and kind of the gauntlet of the U17 program at the U.S. development program, and as your ties USA Hockey. And I'm just curious your thoughts of when elite players go through something that challenging, that young, and come out the other end of it, what the benefits are there? Who were the players? Zach and Seth. Both yeah. Both I, I, I don't know much about the, okay. the protocol and what they do go it's through. Tough, well, these kids, they yeah. Really yeah. Them. Well, uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, I just don't know enough okay. about it, so it's hard for me to comment. That's fair. 
but yeah, yeah. So I guess I'll have to leave it that. I'll take a pass. <laughs> I just want to get your thoughts. Uh, last year, no coaches were let go. This year, four already. Just uh, from the coaching fraternity side of things, your thoughts on on that? Well, I, I, I don't. We're so focused on our business here. I really don't. Uh, I don't like to comment on other teams' stuff. Uh, uh, but I, I'll, I'll put it to you this way: I, I think when when a coach is let go. Um, uh, from another coach's point of view, uh, I feel for the guy. We, we, we don't have a whole hell of a lot of protection. Uh, there's no union. There's none of that. And uh, uh, these guys have families. Um, I, I try to just reach out and, uh, and send the best. You know, it, it's hard. Uh, I don't know what the reasons are. It's, it's not for me to really comment on and why they were let go or should they have been let go. All I know is we, when we get together, it's a good group of guys. Uh, we all know we're in it, and we all know we're going to get fired. Uh, I just, I just try to reach out and w wish them the very best, and hope they get another opportunity. John, Aaron hasn't scored a goal in a while. How important is it for his game to to see that puck go in the back of the net? Well, I, I don't. For for Brett, I don't think it's uh, a, a terrible importance that he scores a goal. Uh, he wants to be involved in the offense. I think he knows when he is, and I think he knows when he isn't. Uh, being involved in the offense is very important to him as far as making plays. He, he's, uh, uh, he wants to pass first. You can see his game is that. Um, so uh, I, don't, I don't think he puts pressure on himself or, or, or is pressing if he doesn't score a goal. I think he gets down on himself when he's not involved in the offense enough and, and creating things for other people. Very unselfish guy. Uh, so I think that's what... Uh, uh, that's what that's what he struggles with. I mean, they they got fed to the other night by Crosby's line. Uh, they, they, Crosby's line fed it to him in, in Pittsburgh, and it doesn't happen that often. Uh, uh, so hopefully they'll rebound tonight. Is that, that line in particular? Is that about being harder in those in that area right in front of the net? Is that is that part of it? Or? Oh, I, I I think I think Duke's play down low the last game there was a struggle, not so much being hard, uh, just reading plays. It, it was a struggle for for that whole group. It, uh, I, I thought Crosby's line, uh, uh, once they get a little juice early in that game, they, they bang a couple in. Uh, they, were, they were a going concern all night long. Uh, I was trying to get away from the match, but Sully wasn't going to let me get away from that match. Um, so he, he, uh, uh, he, struggled, uh, he struggled in his own end along with his line mates. It was just a struggle there. Uh, so hopefully they'll be ready to go tonight. In his first two years in the league, he had over 30 goals, I believe. Uh, did that surprise you at all that, to learn that he is more of a, a kind of a pass-first guy, or is that something that maybe kind of came out of his game more here? Well, just in conversation with him, we, we've had talks. I, listen, I didn't know much. I, I knew he was a hell of a player uh, in watching him from afar when he was in Chicago. Uh, I, I didn't know what to expect, as I said when we first got him. I didn't know... Uh, was he, was he a lazy player? Is he coachable? I didn't know anything about him except that he was a, just one hell of a talent. He's a really good pro. Uh, uh, not a lot bothers him. He enjoys coming to the rink and, uh, and plays the game with that type of enthusiasm. Uh, so I, I continue to learn about him. But, but I know it, it's not a... Uh, everybody likes scoring goals if you're an offensive guy, but he doesn't put himself in a bind because he isn't. He just wants to help the team by creating offense. Right now, the stretch that he's playing, does he look as locked in as when, when he's been playing well in the past for you? Oh, I've seen Bob even play better. Uh, Bob's playing, I mean, it's not that he's not playing really good now, but I've seen Bob play better. Bob's a hell of a goalie. Um, and, I, I, you know, it was a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a struggle early on. Um, but uh, it, you, you knew just the way he prepares, uh, you, you knew he wasn't going to be in that situation for long because he's such... Uh, he, he's such a competitor, and, and his preparation is is the best I've seen in that position. So, uh, yeah, so he's a very important part of the team, obviously. I apologize. It's such an obvious question, but when he's on his game, for you guys, if you seem, at least looking at the outside, to be almost a little bit different team with the confidence. Every team is, up, yeah. yeah. This is this is a league that if your goal, goaltender is really good, you have a really good team. And they play with confidence, and the coach is dynamite uh, when, when, when the goalie's on. If the goalie's struggling, the team is two inches tall, and the coach sucks. Uh, that's just the way this business is, and it's such an important position, and uh, uh, that's why we have position coach and 
uh, the coaches leave them alone and they talk, I don't know what the hell they talk about, but they're off by themselves doing their thing. So such an important position in the game.